welcome back. We're going to do, I'm going to mark my work, so I'm going to stripe out the highlight, the, the ooh, <laughs> highlight row 2B and uh, stripe that out and it will already be an almost interlocking adventure because we're going to do what are we going to do from the written pattern we're going to do a side stitch a one double crochet there's a uh, zijkant uh, stitch and a vast and a stokje and a vaste a stokje and that in faster of the well a side stitch one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet and 13 single crochets so if you go to your graph uh, you striped out of course I didn't uh, row B2 and we go into row 3a here 3a and you see we have more action in it no we're not going to delete it we have more action in it i see two dcs here two dcs two dcs two dcs and the nicest is the two dcs are in front uh, just in front just before and just after my previous post of the other color yarn so you have a little bit of a memory of how the pattern will look like that's why graph work for some people so much better than the written pattern um i follow the written pattern again just to make sure the written pattern is correct but it's computer generated <laughs> so it should be i'm handy in excel don't worry you will get lovely patterns from me um and there it is 3a we're going to follow that putting it here I didn't program the repetitions yet. That is so difficult to put it in brackets. And where is my other yarn? Of course, it fell on the floor and I did a whole fuck up with the yarn. So, oh, sorry for that word. I need to find my yarn. It fell on the ground. Where is it? Where are you, brother? And I will do something simple. I'll find the beginning there. Yeah. Find it now. Sorry for this. Uh, very adventurous interruption there get your yarn i'm such a pro <laughs> not with video editing not with video editing you get your hook through two posts see two posts get your hook through two posts yarn it over yarn over i'm going very slow for the side stitch it's an important stitch because it keeps your work together pull through yeah now i'm going to get the right one in tension and you put another one a chain chain one and then you're going to do again through that post the same the same stitch look it's not a different it's not here no it's the same stitch go your yarn through and you make a single crochet and what does it say now and it gives me a double crochet so immediately you go your double crochet here you would put the yarn back so you go this loop here look see i got it show you this front loop there it is of your double crochet of, of yeah your double crochet this the voorste post van je vorige stokje see in the same color so the double crochets always go in the same color keep that in mind that no way you do a double crochet in the wrong color in the other color so they always go in the same color see and it creates a vertical post a long vertical post and then it says one single crochet and that is there see one single crochet in the back post again of course yarn over because we're going to do one double crochet we're going to find it it's here it's still in the same color see the double crochets are always in the same color pull your yarn through don't pull like crazy don't make it too tight pull through see and now you got this post here a white one here and a darker one there and then it says 13 single crochets we can do that yes we skip that one behind it see this is behind it i hope uh, you can see it and that is not too far okay and we're going to do 13 in okay. 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, or 14, 14, 14, 14. I didn't draw it wrong. It should be 13, on, And I was there already. Not 14, 13. It says also in the, in the pattern 13. And I just does 13 because otherwise my pattern wouldn't be right. So I was wrong. I was right counting that it was number 13. Yarn over. We're going to do a double crochet now again. One double crochet. Find your loop. Find your loop. Pull through. Not too hard. Don't do it too hard. It's not It's not a rustling. Uh, it's not Wrestlemania or anything. And one single crochet back loop. And a double crochet again. That is a front loop down under. Well down under. Look, there it is. Don't push it. Don't push it. Don't pull it. Don't pull it too hard. Look. And then you got... Again, 13 single crochets in the back loop of the previous color A. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, thirteen. Now it was thirteen, twelve, thirteen. I can't count. Let me recount. Um, in three, three. 12, 12, 13, 13, 13, yes. And then you come, you do it, your double crochet again. We did 13 single crochet, one double crochet. Find your loop, low, low, blow, blow. Pull through, not too hard, not too fast. True. Now your single crochet, back loop again, single crochet. Yarn over, make your double crochet in the front. And again, after this. 13 single crochets. Here. Oops. Twelve and thirteen, and here we go again. Yarn over because we're going to do a double crochet. Low one below. See there. Find that loop in the same color, and then a single crochet back loop only other color. Yarn over because we're going to do a double crochet on the loop of my. Double crochet of the same color, two lows below. And we're going to finish with my side stitch. Yarn over, no yarn over. Ooh, 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 press it in, press it in. It's because I pull hard and no one single. I want both loops. Come here, come here, come to mama. And I got both loops, finally. Pull through. A single crochet. Yarn through. Pull through. There, pull it through and yarn through. Get your scissors and cut it. There, pull it. And you see, you got already a pattern. Yeah, 
Oh, we got already a pattern, see? And it's nice how it develops. It's uh, from... I always love it when you crochet. It goes from a thread to a, to something you can use, you know. It's a skill that is so handy. I mean, it's not... It's a hobby. It's my home. I love it. It makes me balanced. It makes me almost zen-like when I do this, you know. And I go big... I love big blankets. I do love big blankets. I made six or seven last year. Eight even. I forgot to count two. And uh, nine, because I forgot the baby blanket. <laughs> But I make a lot of blankets in a year because I love doing this in the evening. I mean, uh, it's nothing so boring when you have a, a war documentary going on and your husband is fully enjoying it, or so your partner or multiple partners or kids or whatever. And you sit there and you don't want anything to watch anyway. And you can do your crochet next to it and pretending you're interested in what is going on on the telly. Oh, yes, dear, it's lovely. Love that. So here you see your pattern. It's going through. It's coming through. It's really coming through. And of course, those fringes. Everybody loves fringes. And most of the time, I leave the fringes on. If it's a big blanket, you can have the side fringes long. You can make them like, how do you call those? Uh, um, with two colors, you can make a nice fringe. Uh, there are several. I may, I will make one one day for you. I will make a tutorial for you one day. But there's several tutorials on YouTube, and um, that was row uh, row three A already. Wow, we're going fast. Three A. Well, fast. That's relative. Thank you, and hope to see you for your next uh, next row. Thank you. That will be three B.